What is up everybody? This is Stock Market Education and today we're going to be talking about Nvidia and whether or not it's a buy. Let's get into it. In 1999, NVIDIA came out with Global Processing Units, a revolutionary technology that ignited the PC gaming market, resulting in the refinement of modern computer graphics. Now NVIDIA is involved with artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, and next era of computing. And GPUs is the main driver needed for AI and deep learning, commonly referred to as the brain of AI. NVIDIA has been able to craft world-changing technology due to their unbreakable belief towards research and development. They have allocated $20 billion since their inception towards research and development, and these are the reasons why we're going to take a closer look at NVIDIA today. Smash the thumbs up button and click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stock market education is all about providing short, impact videos on the stock market so that your time and my time isn't wasted. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the charts. When we take a look at NVIDIA's price chart, we can see that the stochastics indicator is severely overbought, indicating that now might not be the best time to buy into NVIDIA. However, we can see that NVIDIA's stock price has a history of getting caught up in this overbought level for as long as a month at a time. So just because their stock is overbought doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to see a sell-off. However, what the market's most likely due for another collapse, or what I've referred to as the real bear market will begin, I suspect that these overbought levels will be short-lived. Compared to the S&P 500, Nvidia has far outpaced the markets to the point where it's not even comparable. And compared to the Nasdaq 100, which has been on a tear lately, isn't really comparable either. Nvidia has almost 10x during this time. Incredible growth. Some big news came out yesterday about Nvidia, and Nvidia received approval to proceed with Mellanox's 6.9 billion dollar acquisition from China's antitrust authority. And this was a deal that investors were skeptical about because of how many regulatory hurdles they were going to have to jump through. If we take a look at their PE ratio, we can see that they have a trailing PE of 59.7 and a forward PE of 35.97, which is still pretty stretched and overvalued. And we also have to remember that it's extremely difficult, if not impossible, to accurately value about 95% of the companies in the markets today due to the highest uncertainty levels since the 1930s. When we take a look at Nvidia's balance sheet, we can see that they have a monstrous amount of cash, about $10 billion worth of cash, which is incredible because they have zero debt. CEO Jensen Hong outlines exactly how the company is going to grow over the next 10 years. First, Nvidia plans to work alongside with Google to create a new GPU architecture for inference to implement within Google Cloud Services. This, in theory, will result in extreme acceleration for artificial intelligence. Next, the company created a new AGX chip that will encompass the existing platform for autonomous vehicles. Furthermore, NVIDIA's plans to develop artificial intelligence for medical instruments, an industry with a $100 billion market cap, all compelling growth strategies that could lead to NVIDIA's next boom. When you take into consideration NVIDIA's 10-year growth strategy, along with their $10 billion worth of cash on their balance sheet and no debt, and their recent acquisition in Mellanox, and their impressive market returns compared to the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100, you also have to take into account that the markets have gone up 30% in a time when unemployment has reached 22 million people. And we're guaranteed to have a recession come July when quarter two earnings come out. I am interested in buying Nvidia's stock. This company is on my watch list, no doubt, and yes, I'm interested. However, not at these current price levels. If the price falls down to the $225 range, I'll make initial investments in the stock. And if the stock falls below 200 would be when I load up on shares. But at the current levels, I'm not too intrigued to buy at this time. Thank you guys for watching the video, click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.